Now, let's get into unexpected best friends play truth or drink. Now, with the questions that Cut ask, let's see if they remain best friends after, you know, because Cut be like, there is no, there's no limit. Uh, for Sika, hello there. I'm glad you were finally able to make a stream. Welcome. And shout out to whoever became my 30, uh, 3100 follower. Let's clap it up for that. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't got my, my thing. There we go. <laughs> Clap it up for that. Thank you. Yes, I have. Okay. You were at the photocopier in the South Melbourne office being all sexy. <laughs> you were just photocopying things. Pretty raunchy sex dream photocopier. <laughs> she said he was being sexy at the photo photocopier? What? Hold stop the damn show. Stop. Stop the show. Stop. Where's it? Where's it? I couldn't get that word out to save my life. Oh, I was fighting for my life. Oh, my goodness. You said I'm looking crispy. Thank you. Yes, it, it is a new camera. It is. I'm looking ultra HD. Hey, shout out to the ultra HD look. <sighs> yeah. But anyways, it was whooping my behind. All right. Hi, I'm Jaden, and this is... All right, would y'all do this with y'all best friends? When I asked this about, like, you know, exes and parents, but would y'all do this with your best friend? <laughs> do you think that you would still have this best friend once it's over? <laughs> like, <laughs> look, I'm curious. I am very curious. My best friend, Eric Michael. Um, because cause Cut has no limit to their questions. Like, they have a freaking video dedicated on guess who had an abortion? There's no limit. What? There's no limit. with cut? Like none. So clearly, a hundred percent. Hell yeah. Uh, oh boy, here comes the cringe. I rather do this with a best friend than my family. Fair. I have none. Dang, you have none. Okay. Billy can't get his words out. What's new? Leave me alone, Nautica. Leave me alone. Uh, it's okay. Words are hard. My best friend. Yes, my parents. Hell to the no. Hey, Jessica Smith. Welcome to the chat. I don't know when you got up in here, but I appreciate you. Depends on the questions. Jazzy, you know that these questions are reckless. Like, you know that there's no limit with these questions. Like, you know that. You know that that uh, cut goes all the way. Well, um, and this is my best so we're friend, see. Sandra. We met at work. We used to work at a clothing store together, and we bonded over being very charismatic and crazy. Mostly um, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a shot before. We yeah, we should. Let's yeah. do that. Yes. They got to take a shot before. They ain't even answer no questions yet, but they already got to take a shot. What was your first impression of me? Intimidating. Okay. Like you would walk into the office and you'd just be there early every morning telling people what to do. <laughs> but a good impression. Well, that, that was my job. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like what the is boss. the biggest difference between us? Probably our 10 year age gap, I mm. think. When we walk around together, people would either think you're like my big brother or like. Or her captive. Or like <laughs> <laughs> my captive. I'm not gonna lie, she kind of looked like a lemon head, but she's a lovely person. I'm sure she is. I don't know her personally. Have you ever called me a bargain to someone? Yes. To oh, a burden. I thought, I thought she said something else. I was like, what? A bargain? What? To, um, uh, Rebecca. What's a bogan? Oh, a bogan? What the, the hell's a bogan? What's a bogan? A bogan is someone who is from regional areas, uh, rural areas, and um, they probably did not go to uni or their education. Oh my god, they're gonna hate Something about this is racist. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this is definitely racist. What? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. That didn't sound. That didn't sound. That ain't sound good. I, it really didn't sound good. So I don't know. Me, but I, I, I don't consider you a bogan at all. Well, I am a little bit. Well, you don't speak like them. Oh, Probably no, because you're educated. You don't speak like them. Like them? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Well. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I, I guess, here we are, here we are, <laughs> well now I know, now I know what bogan means, for sure, cool, Maybe. are you smarter than I am, yes, 
Like 1,000%, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the grossest thing you've ever done? The, the grossest. grossest. Reaming somebody. <laughs> Wait, what? What did he say? Reaming somebody. <laughs> Does anybody know what a lemon head is? Jessica, you don't know what a lemon head is? Really? Wow, well that's interesting. Okay. Just type it in on Google. But <laughs> did y'all y'all heard his answer? Did did y'all hear his answer? <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> That's not gross. <laughs> Pick one word to describe my dating life. Dickheads. <laughs> Dickheads, I hate them. <laughs> What's the worst? She hates them, but she keeps dating them. I don't think she hate them. She love them. Thing you've ever heard someone say about me? Hearing my ex partner say derogatory things about anyone of color really made me very angry. It, indirectly, I feel like it was about you as well. It was too much. Fuck him. Yeah. What is something I don't understand about you? <sighs> that's that's a hard question. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking of something, but it may not be what you're thinking. What is it? Lo I'm not gonna lie. She, she, I don't, I don't know. Like this just, she looks exhausted, tired. Like she just came from like a spin class or something. I don't, is she okay? Like for real? Cause she, she look like she about to sweat out her little Madeline outfit for real. Like she look like Madeline on a day off. Like <laughs> when she not going to school, like this is how Madeline dress. Madeline, Madeline. I don't, it like, that's, why is she so sweaty? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Holiness is there, it's not having someone. Why it hasn't worked out? Like, you're a beautiful woman, very intelligent. That's a choice. Very intelligent. <laughs> oh, so it's Maybe a choice now. You don't it wasn't a choice two years ago. I don't, she really looked like, she's a maniac, maniac. Like, that's, that's, I, I don't, I just can't get over when, it. When we had this conversation. <laughs> But it, it, like, I think it is a choice. Okay. I haven't tried very hard. Okay, well, I have, and it hasn't worked out. As I got older, I stopped feeling that need for a partner mm -hmm. and trying to fill that void and jam someone into that She's trying spot to fill the fan. Mm -hmm. Somebody turn the AC on. There. Like, and maybe no one will ever fit there. With your arm And that's all right. What am I a dick about? You like, Definitely tell me all the time that you think I should be putting myself out there more mm -hmm. and you can be very aggressive You have not lived and then you have all these worries and shit and I'm just like I'm very no. anxious You have so many things going for you for you to be so timid about yeah, life true. I think I just Catastrophize things and think that the worst thing's gonna happen. So I just don't do it. Mm. Oh Just ex experience living in fear. Mm. It's not a good place to live, y'all. You should never do anything out of fear. Nothing good ever comes from living in fear. Nothing. Nothing at all. You said I need to stop. What I need to stop? You said is Madeline reference to American? Is Madeline even American? Ain't she like a... Is she American? I don't think Madeline is American. I don't know. I don't know. I only know a Madeline because of the books, I think. I I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't even really know how I know Madeline like that, to be honest with you. I just be knowing some stuff sometimes. Madeline is French. So there's that. So, <laughs> so ask yourself, how do I know that? <laughs> or how do I know about Madeline? I, you know, I don't know. It's life. Hmm. What does your extra life experience give you? That I, I just got a bunch of random references in my mind. I'm not having a partner. I'm in a point of my life where the only missing thing is not having a partner. But is it missing? Or did someone tell you to have that You're list? good, Jessica. Don't settle and try to jam someone in there because it yeah. will make life really unhappy and you're better off being by yourself, to be quite yeah. honest. What is Arcadia, something I, I hope don't you have a good understand night. about you? I like my, my life experience in general. Like I uh, come from a really like conservative background. Like literally before I left home, they sent me to a reformation camp for uh, gays. And there's a camp? I tell you like, do things. Literally, I gave my parents two weeks notice before I moved to Australia. Any experience that you are afraid of, do it. Okay. Have you ever had a sex dream about me? No. A no, sex dream? Not. It's definitely 
definitely not. You're not my type. <laughs> have you ever had a sex dream about me? Yes, I have. Oh, dream. Their accents is jacking me up right now. I thought they said sex train. Like train? Choo choo? Oh, boy. Okay. You were at the photocopier in the South Melbourne office being all sexy. <laughs> you were just photocopying things. Pretty raunchy sex dream photocopier. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most difficult thing we have ever gone through together? I have. Oh, okay. he said conversion camp. So that's a real thing. I, I didn't know that that was a real. That's a real thing. That's crazy. Anxious and autoimmune disease. It's like I couldn't see. So then what the, I could. What the hell are they doing at these conversion camps? Oh, well, never mind. Barely here. Nothing was going right with me. And like I kind of shut myself off. And she was like, well, I haven't seen you in a while, so I'm coming to see you. And then, like, so he's kind of dressed like he's part of uh, Starbucks and then just fucking cried. It was just so heartbreaking for me to know that, like, you were suffering with this disease and I couldn't do anything about it. So I just wanted to be there for you. But, like, knowing that you're going through anything painful literally pains me. There's tears again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. For being my friend. I love I'm you. Sorry, I love you too. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kiss me. No, you're not ready for that it. That would be weird. Like I'm so good at it. Okay. <laughs> Kat is doing a truth or drink game for Australia. Hey, shut. Hey, shut. Shut. Shut all that up. Cut. You ain't paying me for that. I want my cut. 